Hi everybody, it's Ella and today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet these little stress balls slash blobby friends. Just something to sit on your desk. I think that they're super cute. They can come in so many different colors and they are just really soft and they're super easy to make as well. Very beginner friendly. I just saw these on TikTok and I thought I would make a pattern for them. This is going to be a two-part video because my editing software only allows me to post videos up to 15 minutes long. So this is going to be part one and I hope you'll join me in making these little blobby friends and let's get started. So the things you're going to need is some yarn. I'm using some blanket yarn. You can use obviously any size yarn and hook that you want, but I made this pattern based on this blanket yarn so that it ends up at this size. So if you use a smaller yarn, it's going to end up really, really small. And this is the Bernat blanket yarn by Yarn Inspirations. You're also going to need a crochet hook. Again, just whatever your yarn calls for. This is an 8mm crochet hook. You're also going to need a little yarn needle. Mine is metal. I find metal is really easy to work with, but if you have plastic, that's fine too. You're also going to need a stitch marker. You're also going to need some safety eyes. I got this pack from Amazon, and it just has a whole bunch of different um, safety eyes sizes. Some polyfill. So this is the one that I have. It's by Loops and Threads. It really doesn't matter, but this is the one that I have, and we're going to be using this to stuff the stress ball. So let's get started. We are just going to start off with a magic circle. So if you don't know how to do this, that's totally fine. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to try to do my best to explain it. I've never made a tutorial before. Your yarn and grabbing it and doing like a thumbs up here. Point out your finger and then you're going to take your yarn and wrap it upwards to make an X and then use your thumb and hold that X down. Okay, so this is what you have. I'll show you one more time. Grab your yarn in a thumbs up, point your finger, wrap upwards, and grab with your thumb. So go ahead and get your hook. You're going to go underneath your front loop here, and then you're just going to use your hook to grab the second loop and pull it through. So the next step, you're going to take your yarn that's hanging off here, you're going to wrap it around. I kind of just go to the left and then just pull it through your loop. Take your finger out and then you have your magic ring. So we're going to start off by doing six single crochet into your magic ring. If you don't know how to do a single crochet, that's totally fine. I'm going to show you right now. So you're going to go inside the circle and when you're working in your magic circle, it's super important that you work into the circle and the little tail here. Go inside, yarn over, so wrap your, your hook around your yarn, pull through, and then yarn over again and pull through the two loops on your hook. So again, insert, yarn over and pull through, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's two single crochet. We have to do six. So just keep doing that until you have six. And six. That's what it should look like now. So now we're gonna move on to the next step. You can pull this tail a little bit so that it tightens the circle, but you don't want to pull too tight or else it's going to be really hard to get into your first stitch. So if you look here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. And a stitch is, when you look at this, you can kind of tell with this blue and pink one here. There's a little V shape. And that's one stitch, so you have to have six of those. So, go ahead and insert into your first one, and you're going to do two single crochet into each stitch. 
which is also an increase. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and you're gonna go into that same stitch. So not this next one, into that same little spot that you put this first one, you're gonna go into there, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we are going to do this all the way around until you get into each um, of the six stitches. This is where your stitch marker comes in handy. And you're gonna go into your first stitch that you made. So this is our first increase. This is the first stitch we did in this row. And go ahead and put your stitch marker in there. Okay, so your stitch marker is there now, so you will know where to start and stop. So we're going to go all the way around and do an increase into each stitch again. I'm doing my last stitch here. So this is what it should look like now. Okay, so now we are going to count how many stitches we have and you're going to count the one that your stitch marker is in. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, here, and twelve. So we have twelve stitches. And now that we've done our second round, you can go ahead and pull the string here to tighten. Just pull on that. So we are going to go ahead and move on to the next round. So go ahead and take out your stitch marker. And we are going to do a single crochet and then an increase all the way around. So going into our first stitch, single crochet, just like we've been doing. And then, gonna go ahead and put our stitch marker in. And then you're going to go into the next stitch and do an increase, which is what we did in the last round which is two single crochet into the same stitch. So one to that same hole, not the one over, the same one, and two. And repeat that sequence, one and then an increase, all the way around until you reach the stitch marker. I'm just gonna continue all the way around. and I will meet you back once I have reached the stitch marker. Okay, so I just reached my stitch marker. I went all the way around doing a single crochet and then an increase. So now what we're going to do is a single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So we're just doing one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And by the way, at the end of this row, we should have 18 stitches. So let's go ahead and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we never count this little loop on our hook. We never count that as a stitch. So we have 18 stitches. And now we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So when we finish, we still should have 18 stitches. So again, I'm going into that first stitch and doing a single crochet. And then I'm gonna take my stitch marker and put it into that stitch. So now I'm gonna remember where that spot is. And I'm just gonna keep going all the way around. This time is no increases, no decreases. We're just single crocheting all the way around. Okay, so we are at the end of the row here. We still should have 18 stitches. And now we're going to move on to our first decrease round. So I'm gonna show you how to do a decrease, but first, you have to do a single crochet. So take out your stitch marker, single crochet to the first stitch. Put in your stitch marker again. And we're going to do a decrease now. So go ahead and go into that first stitch, yarn over and pull through. 
and now you're going to go into that second stitch, the next one over, insert, yarn over, pull through. So we should have three loops on the hook, and these two loops came from two different stitches. Now yarn over and pull through all three. There you go, you just decrease. So now we are going to continue that all the way around. One single crochet, decrease. One single crochet, decrease. All the way around. And at the end of this, you should have 12 stitches again. So I'm going to show you again. Single crochet. Be pretty good at this now. If not, that's totally okay. Just keep practicing. And now we're going to do a decrease. So insert, yarn over, and pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull through. And yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. I'm going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, I just finished here. You should finish with a decrease. And we should have 12 stitches. So let's go ahead and count. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so it's at this point where I'm going to go ahead and put in the safety eyes. So that is the end of part one on how to make these crochet stress balls slash blobby friends. I hope that you're enjoying it so far and I hope it's coming together well. If you want to continue this, there is a part two on my channel down below. I will also link it in the description box and I hope that I will see you soon. Bye!